the raw ratings were down as everyone knows raw hasn't been very good lately and tonight I th think raw actually delivered for the most part uh, not a whole lot to complain about tonight honestly it was a pretty good show pretty good show all around um, if you want to complain about anything um, complain about how Raw is handling the whole women's division and the tag team division. Uh, SmackDown, in my opinion, is doing a 30 times better job in that. Um, the fact that Bailey and Charlotte and Sasha are having this triple threat match at the pay-per-view at a pointless pay-per-view really is not good. That's a match that should be saved for a WrestleMania or Royal Rumble or SummerSlam. But, um... No, not very good. But on the more important things, um, the cruiserweights. Holy crap. If, if you love wrestling, like real wrestling, good wrestling, wrestling that's just matches that keep you on the edge of your seat, you're involved with emotionally, and they just got you totally captivated, man. These cruiserweights are freaking phenomenal. I mean, I, I only watched the first two episodes of the Cruiserweight Classic and I'm kicking myself for it. I'm definitely this week going to go back and watch the whole entire thing because these guys they freaking tore the house down on their debut match on Raw tonight. They were fantastic. It was the best match that I've seen on Raw and I can't even tell you how long. Um, all these guys um, I'm, draw I'm drawing a blank on their names which I'm, I'm embarrassed about but Seriously, if if you have the WWE Network and you have not watched the Cruiserweight Classic, turn this off, go watch the Cruiserweight Classic, and then come back and watch me. Because these guys are just fantastic. fan freak fantastic Good wrestling. Real wrestling. Um, I was glad to see that they were given their time on Raw. They weren't just shoved in the corner like the way that you know, Vince likes to book some people when they get up on Raw from NXT or smaller things that Triple H runs. But these guys, man, they were given a solid match. Probably went for a good 20, 25 minutes, and every minute of it was amazing, and I loved it. So, no complaints. But Raw opened up, actually, with Seth Rollins and Rusev, which is a match that I had never seen before. So I was looking forward to it. Um... This commercial crap, though, like the way that they place commercials in the matches has got to stop because it completely takes me out of it. I was into the match, what I saw of it, and right is at the point where I'm really into it, commercial for freaking five minutes. And then when you get back to the match, you're like, oh, well, I just missed half, half the match, so whatever. But really good between these two. Uh... Raw needs more matches like this, honestly. Only with the exception of the finish wasn't very good. It ended up in a double countout. Um, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It makes both Rusev as United States Champion and Seth Rollins as the number one contender for the title. Both look strong. Neither one of them lost, necessarily. They both just kind of gave up on the match and ended up fighting um, on the outside of the ring. But... uh Good stuff, man. And Seth Rollins, he's is. He, I think it's pretty safe to say that he is Raw's newest big good guy. He's the next babyface on Raw. He is transcending from that heel that we've all known him for the last several years into being a fan favorite good guy, which is quite interesting. I think he could pull it off. I think that guy's great. I think he could pretty much do any kind of role that WWE gives him. But, um, yeah, it's good stuff. He, they, they were brawling outside the ring, and he friggin' jumps off the announce table. And then in the main event, which was Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns, he freaking ends up jumping off the cage at the end of that match, too, which was kind of a nice surprise. It's, it's you know, the whole Raws really sucked for the last couple weeks and it's not 
you know, f stupid friggin' morons on the internet saying it's because of Kevin Owens being the champion. That's nothing to do with Kevin Owens being the champion. It's because I got I got here in my notes why Raw's ratings have been down a little bit. Uh, I've ha I've had enough of Braun Strowman. These matches mean nothing. They're pointless. They suck. They're stupid. Nobody wants to see them. Nobody gives a crap. Just as JD from New York 206 says, get off my TV. Sucks. Horrible. This is the same thing with Bo Dallas. The Bo Dallas squash matches. Nobody cares. People pay the hard-earned money to watch good quality wrestling and not this garbage. Which good quality wrestling? Cesaro and Sheamus, man. You know, f when I first heard of this best of seven series, I thought, oh, good God, this this is gonna be it's gonna be tough to swallow. But these two, man, honestly, I think I could watch them do a best of freaking forty. Like the two of them have such great chemistry in the ring. And seriously, if you haven't enjoyed their matches, like I understand we've been seeing the same two dudes fight every week, but if you haven't been enjoying the matches, especially tonight, man, I thought they put on a heck of a match, great match. Like, I don't know. I don't really know. You're not going to get a whole lot better. I mean, I thought it was really great. Cesaro, man, he is, he is a superstar that is hopefully after this breaking out but he is the dude is amazing in the ring he has grown so much as just a character as a wrestling character over the last year or two he is just dying to be that that fan favorite that guy that when he wins the belt you know people lose their minds over people love it so hopefully that's what comes out of this whole thing with Sheamus now what Sheamus is going to do after this who knows? No one cares about Seamus except for me. Basically, I solely believe I'm the only person on this planet that gives a crap about Seamus. But guy's a good wrestler, but no one cares. So, sucks for him. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, Raw's, Raw's tag team division, I know, they, they got the New Day and Enzo and Cass. And Raw's tag team division sucks like it sucks the story building and the booking of the matches completely suck um they have a 10 they have a 10 man tag match and they throw Sami Zayn and Chris Jericho in there and they have a match at the pay-per-view next week how in the world are they supposed to have any kind of story building any kind of meaning to their match when they're in a tag team a 10-man tag team with four other freaking tag teams who cares who cares that it's it's lazy booking on wwe's part it's the same thing with the women bailey and sasha banks their match in nxt takeover is amazing amazing if you have a network and if you haven't seen it go back and watch it it is amazing it's the best it's the best women's match i've ever seen in 10 years in watching wrestling and you know when they get to the main roster instead of saving for another special match like that for a big pay-per-view for a wrestlemania for a royal rumble for whatever they've already had so much interaction on raw on meaningless pointless raws and now they're in a triple threat match with charlotte for the women's title at uh clash of the champions this sunday and it totally spoils it totally takes away from that thrill that excitement when you know if Bailey and Sasha were fighting and putting on another great match for the women's title at a much meaningful, more meaningful state, but so if you like good storytelling and if you like good, you know, continuity and stuff like that in the women's division, Raw is not for you. SmackDown is definitely doing much, 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 much better with that. And it's the same thing with the tag team division. I it's a shame that people care more about Heath Slater and Rhino on SmackDown than the longest reigning tag team champions ever in the New Day on Raw. It's sad. It really is, but that's it's bad booking for you. So, the main event for Raw was Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns in a steel cage match. 
which, you know, got to boost them ratings, so they give us a steel cage match. Uh, the match starts at, like, 10.52, and it's on for, like, two minutes, and they freaking send us to a five-minute commercial. Why? I don't know. I don't get it. So, whatever, because Raw ends at 11.05, I mean, this is the main event, and what are we getting at home? We're getting nothing. But Roman Reigns ends up winning. Um, I actually I had to go back and rewatch the end of it real quick on my DVR because I, I turned my head for a little bit and I freaking missed the ending of the match, so I had to go back and watch it. But um, Rusev ends up coming out attacking Roman Reigns, you know, their whole feud, whatever. And... You think Owens Owens and Rusev got Roman Reigns in the steel cage and they're going to beat the crap out of him. And Seth Rollins comes out, climbs the cage, and does a dive off the top of the freaking steel cage. Which, it's like, we've never seen, you know, Seth Rollins do something like that before. That's like a total... Seth Rollins is completely over now as a good guy. He has completely made that turn... Now we've been kind of speculating, is Rollins heel, is he face, you know, what the frick is he? But he is officially, you know, face, and I feel like this is really the WWE's way to, in the end, get what they want, and that's Roman Reigns being cheered, because by association, people love Seth Rollins, good guy or bad guy, and if Rollins is a good guy and he's helping out Reigns, then people will automatically be like, ah, but, you know. WWE will learn that Roman Reigns will forever be booed, and that's just the way it is. Why? I don't know. I don't boo Roman, simply because, yeah, he sucks on the mic. Yeah, he sucks as a character, as a personality. But if you don't think Roman Reigns can't wrestle, you're wrong. Seriously. Go back and watch everything he's done since WrestleMania 32. The guy can legitimately wrestle. The guy's very talented. In the ring. On the mic, no, he sucks. But... I watch wrestling for wrestling, not for talking. I don't care. So, that's just me. So, excuse me. Overall, you know, Raw was pretty good. Nothing, I mean, has its has its downs. Again, with the with the women and the tag teams. Um, they got to... They got to find some kind of a better way to book it to make people care again. They got to get Enzo and Cass in that tag team competition for people to really care because they're the hottest thing in the company right now. And they seriously, they got to keep Bailey and Sasha as far apart from each other until a big pay-per-view like a WrestleMania for that to mean something because those two women are legit and they can put on a heck of a match. But if you see the match 40 times and then you give it to us, at a big pay-per-view, then it means nothing, and it's not special. But who am I? Just a smart mark. <sighs> so, that's the Raw Review. Like this video, comment, share, get, you know, get me out all over the internet, whatever you can. Peace.